Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Bajos Exam Prep. My name is Naveen, and today we'll continue with our CAT 2023 series. Today is the second part of games and tournaments that we are going to look into. So previously we have looked into knockout and round robin. Today we are going to continue, uh, you know, solving similar sets. So let's begin with our today's uh, first set. So looks like I'll have to hide myself. The set is huge. The game of Chango is a game where two people play against each other. One of them wins and the other loses. That is, there are no drawn Chango games. 12 players participated in a Chango championship. They were divided into four groups. Group A consisted of Aruna, Azul and Arif. Group B consisted of Brinda, Briz and Biju. Group C consisted of Chitra, Chetan and Chavi. And Group D consisted of Dipen, Donna and Dev. Players within each group had a distinct rank given in going into a championship. The players have not been listed necessarily according to their ranks. In the group stage of the game, the second and third rank players play against each other and the winner of that game plays against the first rank player of the group. So, in a group there are three people, right? We are talking about any group. So let's call this group X. Okay, they are not arranged as their order ranking. So, it's not necessarily that their leftmost guy is the first ranked guy. Okay, so we don't know which one is the first, which is who is second, who is third and so on. Now, what happens? That in this particular group stage, group stage matlab ek stage jahan group mein game ho hai, within the group, right? So this is the group you are talking about. The second and third ranked players, suppose these are the two second and third ranked players. This guy is the second ranked player, this is the third ranked player. They play against each other. And suppose out of these, he, he loses and he wins. Then what happens? The winner of this game plays against the first rank holder of this group. So the next match is going to happen between the player who did not play and the winner of the latest match. Now between these two they play. The winner of the second game is considered as the winner of the group. So suppose first loses and second wins eventually. So second guy is going to be the winner of this particular group. And this person will enter a semi-final. The winners from group A and B play against each other in one semi-final while the winners from group C and D play against each other in the other semi-final. So obviously we have four groups. So whoever is the winner from A, whoever is the winner from B, they play the first semi-final. Whoever is the winner from group C, whoever is the winner from group D plays the second semi-final. And the winners of the two semi-finals play against each other in the finals to decide the winner of the championship. It is known that Chitra did not win the championship, Aruna did not play against Are, Briz did not play against Brida, and so on and so forth. We have further information. So this is a scenario, a classic scenario of uh, round robin, which is not exactly complete round robin because not every player is given a chance to play against every other player exactly once, right? Yeah, good afternoon, Pushkar. Good afternoon, Sri. So, Suppose if you draw the table like this, in the group A, we have all the people with the name, say group B, group C and group D. Oh, okay, this, sorry, the last ones should be group D. Uh, it should be group D. Okay. Now, uh, suppose Azul and Arif, they play. Okay. Azul is the winner. And then Aruna and Azul will play. The moment this happens, we are pretty sure that Aruna is the first. Who is the second and the third guy? We don't know. As in within the group, what rank do they hold? We have no idea. Right? So it could be Azul as second, Arif as third or Arif as second and Azul as third. We don't know that. Okay? We will definitely know that the person who plays later is definitely the first rank holder. Now whoever wins, suppose Aruna wins moves over to semi-finals. So, agar aap yaha dhyan doge, jo sabse critical part hai, that whoever is the loser of this game, first match, plays only one match. Okay? So, let's do vice versa. If somebody plays exactly one match only 
in the entire tournament can we say that person is definitely not the topper because that person plays with somebody else and loses right away right now somebody who wins two matches theek hai so ek kaam karte hain yahan par aruna azul aur arif ki jagah pe na main isko aise kar leta hu cases bana leta hu so that you can understand so there are three people suppose these two play he is the winner he is the loser and then these two play suppose he is the winner he is the loser so if i name the people as p q r so can we say p and r they win they, they play only one match and q has played two matches as of now now q is going to move over to the semi final and we'll play at least one more match so teen match to q khelega hi khelega theek hai at least three kyunki ye one ek semi final mein bhi khelna hai maybe q wins in the semi finals then q will play in the finals also who knows theek hai okay the other possibility would be p q r hai q and r uh, sorry there are three people one is the winner another is the loser and this winner plays against the third guy the first guy now is the winner and he is the loser and let's name them as p q r again this is a scenario where p has played one match and then will play at least one more match in the semi finals to isko do match to khelne hi khelne can also play three matches depending upon if p moves over to the finals if you look at q q has played two matches ek r ke sath ek p ke sath keval do match khel paya do se zyada nahi khel paya and r plays only one match so can we say anybody who plays only one match is going to be either the loser of the first game or maybe the guy who did not play the first match but played the next match who among the winners of the previous match and lost so ye wala scenario mein hoga p and r the two people right so th these two information now somebody who plays three matches at least is definitely going to be either the guy who uh, plays initially wins it then plays the next match wins it then plays the semi finals wins it and then lost in the finals or somebody who wins the first time here in the group stage then wins one in the semi final and then finally wins the finals hai na aise case mein teen matches if somebody wins four matches or plays four matches not wins agar char match khela hai to teen to jeeta hi hoga क्योंकि नॉकआउट चल रहा है राइट तो फोर मैचेस मींस पहला मैच भी जीतेगा नेक्स्ट मैच भी जीतेगा सेमीफाइनल्स भी जीतेगा फाइनल्स भी जीतेगा राइट सो हैविंग अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट सिनेरियोस दैट मे एग्जिस्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ दिस केसेस चित्रा डिड नॉट विन द चैंपियनशिप रियली कान डू एनीथिंग अबाउट इट अरुणा डिड नॉट प्ले अगेंस्ट आर Now Aruna did not play against Arif, maybe because uh, Aruna and Azul played, and Aruna lost. So Azul or Arif will play now. Ya fir ho sakta hai ki Azul and Arif played and Arif lost and Aruna Azul played, right? We don't know which one is happening, so really can't say anything. Now second part of the second statement says Bridge did not play against Binda. Similar scenario as Aruna and Arif. third statement says aruna biju chitra and dipen played three games each so aruna played three games biju played three games chitra played three games and dipen played three games then azul played two games chetan played two games and the remaining players they played one one game each अभी केवल इतना देखोगे ना वॉट यू विल रियलाइज इज ग्रुप ए एंड ग्रुप सी दे आर फॉलोइंग सिमिलर पैटर्न अरुण एंड एज टू पीपल वन है वन हैव प्लेड थ्री मैचेज एन अदर हैज प्लेड टू दर्ड वन हैज प्लेड वन थ्री टू वन इधर भी है ग्रुप बी में इट इज थ्री वन वन ग्रुप डी ऑल्सो यू हैव थ्री वन वन राइट एंड द रिमेनिंग प्लेयर्स प्लेड वन के मैच सो ग्रुप ए एंड ग्रुप सी दे आर वेरी सिमिलर ग्रुप बी एंड ग्रुप डी आर वेरी सिमिलर now we are done with the third statement let's look at the second one aruna did not play against rf now 
See, Arif has to play only one game. And Aruna did not play against Arif. So, can we say one possibility is that Azul and Arif played. Arif lost. Azul won. Then Aruna and Azul played. Right? Now, Azul has played the second match. He has to lose. Because if he won the third match, he will play Right? And Aruna has played one match. Hua. Right? So, this is one possibility. What could be the other possibility? Uh, the other possibility, can it be that Azul and Aruna played and then somebody lost? No. So, there is going to be only one possibility. Because Aruna and Azul are going to play against each other. If they are going to play against each other. Then somebody is going to lose and that person is going to be out of the tournament by playing just one match. But between Aruna and Azul, they have to play 2 or 3 matches. Is it a possibility that Aruna and Arif play? No, this is already made that they did not play. Okay, so that should not have been mentioned. This is so very clear that Azul and Arif played and Arif lost, Azul won. The next match happened between Aruna and Azul, where Azul has to lose because Azul is done playing two matches. Aruna has to play three matches, so Aruna wins here. Now, Aruna will move to semi-finals, right? She has to play three matches, she is going to win there. And then in the finals also she reaches, we don't know what is going to happen here. Okay? In group B, Briz did not play against Brinda. If Briz did not play against Brinda, that means uh, Bridge played against Biju. When Bridge plays against Biju, then Bridge has to lose because uh, Bridge ke paas ek hi match khelna. Now, since Biju has won, Biju is going to play now against Brinda. Now, Brinda has to lose. Why? Because Biju ko abhi do matches, ek match aur khelne ka. To Biju, that means moves to the semi final. Right? And since Biju is going to play only the next match, ek hi match khelna hai, uske baad nahi khelna hai, to obviously wo lose karne wala hai. This was also very, you know, un very much understood, kyunki the semi-final is supposed to happen between the winner of group stage A and group stage B. To agar A ka winner hai, Aruna, to B ka to loser hi hoga. Okay. Now what about group C and group D? Group C and Group D में फिर वही चीज होगा जो हमारा Group A और Group B में हुआ था, because we have the same combination of um, number of matches played. So again, Chetan is going to play against Chavi. Chavi is going to lose. Now Chetan wins here. Chitra is going to play against Chetan. Chetan should lose. Chitra should win. Now Chitra has only played one match so far. Chetan and Chavi have completed their matches. Up semi-final mein Chitra is going to win and then in the finals we have no idea so that Chitra plays three matches. Chitra agar lose kar jayegi semi-final mein to wo uske do hi matches honge. Tisra match khilne ka mauka nahi lagega usko. Right? That's why she has to win. And the moment we get to know that she wins, that tells us ki jo bhi idhar banda hoga, wo idhar lose karne wala. Which is obviously going to be the pen. So the first match could be between Dipen and Dona because nothing is mentioned here or could be between Dipen and Deb. Okay? So, we have possibilities that Dipen is going to play against either Dona or either Deb. So, whoever will play with this, he will lose. Dipen is definitely going to win. Now, Dipen is going to play against the other person. So, it may be Deb, right? Or it may be Donna. ठीक है तो मैं यहाँ dash से कर रहा हूँ. Depend again wins here, the second match and loses the semi-finals, right? तो ये फिर से यहाँ पर lose करने वाले हैं. दोनों में से जो भी खेलेगा. Okay? So ठीक है. Now if I read the first statement, it says Chitra did not win the championship. If Chitra doesn't win the championship, that means Chitra loses this and Aruna wins this. Okay, so I say final or final for side me like that. So that it's clear. Winner, winner. 
राइट सो ऐसे फॉलो हो रहा है इनके बीच के मैचेस ग्रुप डी के ओनली वी डोंट नो इन फर्स्ट राउंड विच मैच नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर कि इन दिफ ग्रुप स्टेज जो विनर होता है वो नहीं खेलता है सेकेंड एंड थर्ड खेलते हैं सो अरुणा इज द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर हेयर हेयर ब्रिंदा इज द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर हेयर चित्रा इज द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर हेयर दिपेन इज द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर डेफिनेटली वी डोंट नो अबाउट चेतन छवि डोना डे बजुल आरिफ उसमें कौन सेकेंड थर्ड है राइट ओके अब देखते क्वेश्चन कैसे हैं so the first question is who among the following was definitely not ranked first in his or her group aruna brinda chitra dipen aruna brinda chitra and dipen can we say bridge was not ranked first because uh, group b mein brinda is ranked first bridge and biju will be second or third mein se koi ek sorry 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 it should be uh, sorry i made a mistake here This is going to be the uh, first rank holder because it's not three matches played, right? Eh, so it's Aruna, Biju, Chitra, and Dipen. Aruna, Biju, Chitra, and Dipen. Acha, ठीक है. Anyways, it was Bridge and Biju के बीच confusion. ठीक है? So C is the answer. Not ranked first. होल्ड ऑन हु वॉज नॉट रैंक फर्स्ट एक सेकेंड रुक जो लेट्स थिंक अबाउट दिस The first match did not happen with the first rank holder. So the first match between Azul and Arif. So Aruna is the first rank holder. Here the first match is between Briju and Biju. So Brinda is the first rank holder. Ye bhi sahi hai. Uh, the first match between Chetan and Chavi. So Chitra is the first rank holder. The first match which was between Dipen and Dona, or Dipen and Deb. Right. So the first rank holder is either Deb or it's Dona. क्योंकि पहला मैच दिपेन ने खेला ही खेला राइट सो कैन वी से दिपेन कुड बी द फर्स्ट रैंक पर्सन इन हिज ग्रुप नो कैन अरुणा बी यस डेफिनेटली इज ब्रिज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर कैन ब्रिज बी द फर्स्ट रैंक होल्डर may be may not be okay we did not look at the other possibility no it says biju did not play against brinda if biju did not play against brinda then maybe brinda and bridge played so bridge is definitely not going to be the first rank holder bridge to nahi hai right it could be brinda or it could be biju okay in group c chetan and chavi did they did play the first match so chitra is going to be the first rank holder in group d it's going going to be dona or deb to mere ko lag raha hai ki bridge to nahi hone wala aur udhar dipen nahi hone wala can depend be the first nahi see the people who played one one match wo wala scenario nahi ho sakta so here they cannot play so brinda is definitely going to be the first rank holder theek hai jo pehle tha wahi hai instead of dipen we have donna and deb So, मेरे को लग रहा है कि कुछ गड़बड़ होना चाहिए हु एमंग फॉलोइंग वॉज नॉट डेफिनेटली नॉट रैंक फर्स्ट इन द ग्रुप दिपेन डेफिनेटली नॉट 
Aruna, yes. Brinda, yes. Chitra, yes. So Dipen was definitely not right. Okay. So in the case of uh, uh, group D, it could be Dono or Deb. Dipen agar Dona ke saath khel raha hai, to Deb first rank holder hai. Dipen agar Deb ke saath khel raha hai, to Dona first rank holder hai. Dipen to nahi hai. In group B, Brinda is going to play against Biju or Bridge is going to play against Biju. So, Biju is definitely not going to be the first rank holder. Brinda, Bridge ke saath to nahi khel rahe. और ये ब्रिज भी हो सकता है राइट वन ऑफ दिस टू कैन हैपन ठीक है एनीवेज आंसर इज ए डिपेंड तो फॉर श्योर है व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लेयर्स मस्ट हैव प्लेड अगेंस्ट ईच अदर इन द चैंपियनशिप देब एंड डोना डिड दे प्ले नो दे कैन नॉट बिकॉज़ दे हैव टू प्ले ओनली वन मैच अमंग देमसेल्व्स तो ये तो नहीं खेल रहे अजूल एंड बिजू uh, Azul to Bahar tha. B group ke saath to khelna ka mokra hi nahi laga. So they definitely did not play against each other. Dona and Chetan. Uh, Chetan did not get a chance to play outside his group. So ye bhi nahi hoga. Chitra and Dipen. Of course. Chitra was the winner from group C and Dipen was the winner from group D and they play against each other in the semi-finals if you remember. So ye to definitely khele te. So D is the answer. Who won the championship? Uh, I believe it was not Chitra, but uh, it was Aruna. Aruna won the championship. And who among the following did not play against Chitra in the championship? So Chitra ki against Kaun nahi khela hai? So can we say it is very much straightforward that anybody from group A, sorry, group B is not going to play against group uh, Chitra? Because group A, B, apas mein khele, A moved ahead and then Chitra is from group C. So, B wala naam wala koi nahi hona chahiye. So, Biju should definitely not play. Right? So, D is going to be the answer. Virendra, the ranks are given on the basis of... Uh, the, the, I mean, there is no specific basis, but this it simply says that in the group stage of the game, the second and third rank player play against each other. Pehle. Uske baad unka jo winner hai, that person plays against the first rank player of the group. Right? Hrithik, have you done this set before? Okay, the next one. In the table below is the listing of players seeded from highest to lowest who are due to play in an association of tennis player tournament of women, ATP. This tournament has four knockout rounds before the final that is first round, second, quarterfinals and semifinals. So there are five rounds, right? Four knockout rounds before the final and final is obviously a knockout. So five rounds are there. So obviously if there are 32 players which is 2 to the power 5 players so you will have 5 rounds Ye to understood hai. this is from knockout only in the first round the highest seeded player play against this lowest seeded player seed number 32 which is designated match number 1 of first round and the second seeded player plays this 31st seeded player which is designated match number 2 of the second round oh, sorry of the first round and so on yani ke top seeded and bottom seeded play against each other the second best and the second worst play against each other and so on. Thus, for instance, match number 16 of the first round is to be played between 16th and the 17th seeded player. In the second round, the winner of the match 1 of first round plays the winner of match number 16 of first round and is designated match number 1 of second round. Similarly, the winner of match number 2 of first round plays round and uh, plays the winner of the match number 15 of first round. Okay. okay. 
Thus, for instance, match number eight of the second round is to be played between the winner of match eight of the first round and uh, winner of match nine of the first round. The same pattern is followed at later rounds as well. So, this is the uh, series that we have. I mean, this is, these are the seeds and the players that we have. If it is very much visible, I would like to shorten this particular table so that we can understand kya chal kya rahe da. Theek hai? So, round number one mein kya hoga? That first is going to play against 30 second, 2 is going to play against 31 and this will continue, 16 is going to play against 17, okay, round 1. Round number 2 may kya hoga? The winner of the first match and the last match of the previous round is going to move ahead. So, second round may we can have 1 or 32 may se koi 16 or 17 ke saath khelega. I am going to write it before that also 15 versus 18. Second match is going to happen between 2 or 31 may say whoever is the winner against 15 or 18. Right? And since only 16 teams are here, so we will be halving it. So we will be having 8. 1 plus 32 is 33. So we will have 8 and 25. They are going to play against. Now we have to make this sum as 33. So 17 ke liye we will have 9 and then uh, for uh, 33 we will have uh, 24. Ye now what will happen in round 3? The winner of this particular match and the last match, the first and the last will move to round 3 ka pehla match. As in round number 3 mein 1, 32, 16, 17, jo bhi udar se jit kar aega, wo kelega. Last match which is 8, 25, 9, 24 ke against and this continues. Right? So, having understood how the pattern is going to be followed, we can uh, move ahead and look at the questions. Remember these numbers that I have written, these are the seeds of the players given in the table. So, the first question is, if there are no upsets and what is an upset? When a lower seeded player beats a higher seeded player in the first round. So, in the round, there is no upset. So, what will happen? When one seed is going to play against 32, 32 bahar. When 2 is going to play against 31, 31 bahar. So, can we say out of 1 to 32, 17 se 32 sare bahar ho jayenge? Hai na? Kyunki 1 se 16 are the better seeds. Aur pehle round mein ek bhi upset nahi hua tha. That means the best 16 players, they moved ahead. Okay. So, 1 to 16 moves ahead. Next, it says and only match number 6, 7 and 8 of the second round results in upsets. So, ab next match mein Maria and Elena, they are going to play. Or ye upset nahi hone wala hai, reason being only words are used. So, the first match is not going to be an upset. If the first match is not going to be an upset, so Elena Bahar. Second match is not going to be an upset, Natalie Bahar. Third match not upset, fourth, fifth, sixth was an upset. So, sixth was supposed to happen between Elena and Patty. So, Elena goes away, right? Upset hai to jo better seed hai, lower seed, wo Bahar. 7th was also an upset, so Justine also goes away and 8th was an upset, so Serena also goes away. Right? Now, we have, if you look at round number 2, I will show you this, that 1 played, seed number 1 played against seed number 16, 2 played against 15, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Ye chal raha As per the question, it said that the first match was not upset, second upset nita, third nita, fourth nita, fifth nita, sixth, seventh, and eighth upset, right? 
सो दीज आर दी जो भी मैंने स्ट्राइक आउट नहीं करा दीज आर दी सीड्स हु विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट राउंड व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी राउंड नंबर 3 देन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव राउंड नंबर 4 देन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव राउंड नंबर 5 इफ यू रिमेंबर राउंड नंबर 5 इज फाइनल्स राउंड नंबर 4 इज सेमी फाइनल्स सो राउंड नंबर 3 इज क्वार्टर फाइनल्स एंड दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्वार्टर फाइनल्स तो ये बोल रहा है कि लिंडसे डेवनपोर्ट लिंडसे डेवनपोर्ट इज द सेकंड सीड यानी कि जो पहला मैच होगा दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन बिटवीन वन एंड नाइन एंड द सेकंड मैच इज गोइंग टू हैपन बिटवीन टू एंड टेन सो लिंडसे इज एट द सेकंड पोजीशन दिस इज वेयर लिंडसे इज इज गोइंग टू प्ले अगेंस्ट होम सो द टेंथ नंबर इज विनस विलियम्स सो द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी डी है ना ऊपर से सेकेंड नीचे से सेकेंड ये आपस में खेलेंगे ऊपर से थर्ड नीचे से थर्ड ये आपस में खेलेंगे आई होप यू गाइज नो द बेसिक रूल्स ऑफ नॉको टूर्नामेंट राइट सो द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ ई एंड एस एलेना एंड सो वी हैव एलेना हेयर एंड सेरेना विलियम्स सो सेरेना विलियम्स इज हेयर दे लूज इन द सेकेंड राउंड That means they won in the first round, while Justin Henin and Nadia Petrova make it to the semi-finals. Then who would play Maria Sharapova in the quarter-finals? In the event Sharapova reaches quarter-finals, so we are going to pay attention to Maria Sharapova only as in seed number one. Kill us pay dhyan de re. So if we look at round number one. Maria Sharapova is going to play against seed number thirty-two. Maria Sharapova has to move over to the quarterfinals. Any third round, तक तो पहुँच ही रही है. So ये thirty-two तो गया. As in Anna Le Lena Gronofield, she is out of the game. Maria Sharapova now moves over to the next round. In round number two, she is going to play against. It's going to be either. 16 और 17, राइट बिकॉज लास्ट जो मैच हुआ था दैट वॉज बिटवीन 16 एंड 17, एंड हु आर 16 एंड 17, वी हैव एलेना सी दिस इज अ डिफरेंट एलेना एंड वी हैव जेलेना राइट सो एलेना एंड जेलेना दे बोथ आर देयर सो Maria reaches there. So whoever was the winner in the last match of round one moves to the moves ahead and plays against the winner of the first match of the round one. Yani ki ye match ho raha. Now one is Maria Sharapova and she has to move ahead. So she will anyways be going over to round three. Because quarter finals me to khelna hai usko, right? Maria Sharapova ki baat kar rahe hum. That tells us ki sixteen or seventeen jo bhi aaya hoga dono hara hoga, right? Because if sixteen loses to Maria, six seventeen already lost versus sixteen before. So this tells us that Elena or Jelena bhi gay. Ye dono bhi nahi ho sakte. Now, in this particular round, what who is this uh, Maria going to play against? So Maria is going to play against. Can we say whoever was going to be the winner of the previous round in the last match? So this was eight versus nine. So, यहां पर एट और नाइन में से कोई भी आ सकता है नाउ एट और नाइन में से जरूरी नहीं है कि देर वेर एट एंड नाइन ओनली द मैच दैट हैपन बिटवीन एट एंड नाइन इन द फर्स्ट राउंड हु एवर वोन मस्ट हैव मूव ओवर टू राउंड टू राइट सो थर्टी थ्री इज द सम इन राउंड वन द सम ऑफ द सीट सो एट वर्सेज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड नाइन वर्सेज ट्वेंटी फोर सो एट की जगह पे एट और ट्वेंटी फाइव में से कोई भी हो सकता है सो लेट्स पुट ब्रैकेट लाइक दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव और एट में से कोई भी हो सकता था और इधर नाइन और ट्वेंटी फोर में से दिस फॉलोज दैट एनी वन ऑफ दीज फोर माइट बी प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट मारिया इन द्वार्टर फाइनल्स सो लेट्स लुक एट द नेम्स एट ओह Eight cannot play because eight is already out of this. Henin uh, and Nadia Petrova. So let's look at Henin. Where is Henin and Nadia? Nadia is at nine, and uh, 
Henin is where is Henin? Do we really need Henin? Oh, sorry, it's Justin Henin. So that is seven. Okay. Since number nine moves over to the quarterfinals, so this tells us that ki nine to khilai hoga quarterfinal. Na? And nine must have definitely won and she must have lost. So can we say that Nadia is the person who must have definitely played against uh, Maria Sharapova and have won because she has to now move to the quarterfinals. Because if she has won, she will come out of the tournament. Ke. So the answer is supposed to be C. Right? Is there any faster approach than to move to and fro again and again? Yes, there is a faster approach to such questions of knockout tournament. Okay? You have round number 3. Dekhna hai, hai? Round number 3, which is quarterfinals, that you have to find that Maria Sharapova is going to play against whom. May I need to know the seeds of the players who will come here. Okay? So, what I will do is, I will go back to round number 2 and I will go back to round number 1. In round number 1, the first match was between 1 and 32. In round number 2, the first match was between 1 and 16. So, the rank sum here is 17 and the rank sum here is 33. 1 plus 32, 1 plus 16. Ab aap kya karoge? Ki sochoge ki 1 mein kya add karoge? Ki aapko... 17 mil ja. Hmm. Nay, 17 ki zarurat nahi hai. In quarter finals, we definitely know that the first of all, yaha per 8 to khel ra hoga, right? Remember, uh, quarter finals mein we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8. To 1 ke saamne 8 to dikhna chahiye. Now, once we have the number 8, 8 plus what is 17? You will realize 8 plus 9 is 17. We are done with 17. Next, 8 plus what is 33? You will realize 8 plus 25 is 33. Next, 9 plus what is 33? 9 plus 24 is 33. Ye bhi done. We have the 4 seeds. Aap sidhe ja ke check karo ki 8, 9, 24, 25. 8 is Serena Williams, it's not in the option. 9 is Nadia, she is in the option. 24 is Tatiana, she is not in the option. 25 is Shinobo, that's not in the option. So, ek hi banda hai jo ki idhar aa sakta. So, answer is going to be C. So, we don't have to move to and fro in such cases. At any particular round, you can figure out at a particular seed who is going to play against whom. Without knowing the outcomes of the previous games. So, dekha jaye to ye sara na gap tha. Inki zarurat nahi thi. Simple question ha would have been, Maria Sharapova reaches the quarterfinals and who does she play against? From the given four options. Maria Sharapova can only play against Serena, Nadia, Tatiana or Shinobu in the quarterfinals. There is no other fifth person who is going to play against seed number one in quarterfinals. Okay. okay, next one. If in the first round, all even numbered matches and none of the odd numbered matches, right, result in upsets. So, pehla wala match jo hai, odd number hai, ye upset nahi hua. Fir next wala match, upset ho gaya. Then the next match was not an upset. Then the next match was an upset. Dekha jaya to we have to discard alternate people. Ya even number pe jo log hai na, unko aapko hatana hoga because they will be leaving the tournament. Right? So even number wale sare gai. Odd number wale bach gai. Okay. Then what happens is, uh, if there are no upsets in the second round, so let's now talk about round number two. In round number two, 
the winner of the first which is maria is going to play against the winner of the next match the next match winner was 30 देखो पहला मैच हुआ था 1 वर्सेस 32 द नेक्स्ट मैच वाज बिटवीन 2 वर्सेस 31 सो इट विल बी 2 1 वर्सेस 31 सेकंड मैच वाज बिटवीन 2 वर्सेस सॉरी द नेक्स्ट मैच इज गोइंग टू हैपन बिटवीन सॉरी व्हाई डिड आई राइट 31 द फर्स्ट मैच हैपेंड बिटवीन 1 वर्सेस 32 एंड द लास्ट मैच हैपेंड बिटवीन 16 वर्सेस 17 so, इधर को 17 आने वाला है. Next, 3 is going to play against 19. Next, 5 is going to play against 21. मतलब आप यहाँ पर 8 consecutive odd numbers लिख दो. And then you write down the next 8 consecutive odd numbers here. And this is the round number 2K matches that are going to play, be played against the particular seats. Now, it says there were no upsets in the second round. If there were no upsets in the second round, matlab ki ye sare bahar ho jayenge second round mein. So, that tells us that the first 8 consecutive odd numbers, 1 to 15, will stay in the game, while 17 onwards, everybody else is knocked out. They leave the tournament. So, the lowest seed we have is 15. The highest seed we have is 1. Now, who could be the lowest seeded player facing Maria Sharapova in the semi-finals? So, if we talk about round number 3, which is going to be quarter-finals. If we talk about round number 4, which is going to be finals. Sorry, semi-finals. Round number 3, the match is going to be 1 versus 15, then it's going to be 3 versus 13, it's going to be 5 versus 11, and it's going to be 7 versus 9. Now, what happens here? 15 Bahar. How do I know? Because Maria Sharapova has to move over to semi-finals. Bina harai to wo, bina jite to wo jaani sakti. Now, Maria Sharapova reaches the semi-finals. She is going to play against the winner of the last match of the quarter-final. यानि कि ये 7 और 9 में से किसी एक के साथ ये खेलने वाली है. So, who is the lowest seeded player? Can we say 9? 9 is the lowest seeded player, जिसके साथ वो semi-finals खेल सकती है. Right? So, the option is going to be, hold on. Uh, then, who could be the lowest seeded player facing Maria Sharapova? in the semi-finals. If there are no upsets in the second round. Third round, we don't know anything, right? So, there may be an upset, there may not be an upset. Right? Thik hai. So, she is the winner of the first match is going to play against the uh, winner of the last match. And the last match winner could be 1 among 7 or 9. So, winner of the first match is 1, Maria. The winner of the last match is 1 among 7 or 9. So, it's Justine or Nadia. Justine is not there in the option. So, it's going to be Nadia only. Right. Okay, next question, if the top 8 seeds make it to the quarterfinals, then who amongst the players listed below would definitely not play against Maria in the final in case Sharapova reaches the final? So, thankfully, we don't have to go through all the rounds. The very first part of the statement says top 8, they move over to the quarterfinals, right? So, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they are moving over to the quarterfinals. And obviously, in the quarterfinals, the match is going to play against the best and the worst, second and the second worst, third and the third worst, fourth and the fourth worst, right? 
if you are talking about final and Maria Sharapova reaching finals, so in this semi final, one is going to play against four or five, and uh, two or three is going to play against whoever is the winner, sorry, two or seven. Whoever is the winner of the second match is going to play against the winner of the third match. Now, if you move to finals, Sharapova is still the uh, one of the players and the next one could be anyone who is the winner here which could be 2, 7, 3, 6 in charo mein se koi bhi ha sakta right so who are these players let's find out their names so Lindsay may play against so that tells us ke question is definitely not no we are saying Lindsay may be there next is uh, 7 Justin may play. Justin is not in the option. Uh, then we have pre Emily may pay may play, but this question may definitely not here. And then six Elena also can play against Maria. So Elena is also gone. So can we be pretty sure that Kim is going to be that person? who is at the fourth, right? Because Kim is right here, who is lost to Maria in the semi-finals or maybe lost in the quarter-finals itself. So Kim will never make it to the finals. So answer is going to be C. Okay, Nandini. Uh, you can get in touch with me. Okay, I have shared my number. If you have got any issues, let me know and we will talk about it. Okay, let's see if you can do that. If you have that much of passion to really clear, clear the cat this year. So, uh, you can download our app and you can access uh, the entire trial for three days. You can be one among our cat 2022 toppers. All you need to do is uh, join our one of our comprehensive program batch. And uh, you can avail a scholarship of up to 90%. Okay. For that, you can write the scholarship test, which is scheduled for 25th of June at 11 a.m. Make sure that, that you register for this. Okay. And you can also uh, get in touch with us uh, over youtube instagram facebook and you can join our telegram channel and you can download our app on google play okay so yeah thank you everyone seventh question one versus 31 virendra okay seventh question number nay virendra uh let me tell you in round number one Hoga kya? The first match is going to play against 1 versus 32. The second match is going to play against 1 versus 2 versus 31. Uh, the last match is going to play against 16 versus 17. Hana? Now what it says, all the even number matches results in upsets. Right? So, the first upset was 1 winner, the next one is 31 winner. Then the next one is 3 winner, then the next one winner. Hoga. So, can we say even number teams are getting out? Jo maine circle kar hai, wo aage jayenge. Now, in the next round, Virendra, iska jo winner tha, wo last match ke winner ke saath khelega. It has got to do with pehle match or last match ka winner. Nothing to do with the seeds there. So, first match winner is seed number 1. Last match winner is seed number 17. Not 31. 31 to second match ka winner. First match and second match ke bich ke winners ke bich match nahi hona. First and last ke bich hona. Right? So 1 versus 17 will happen and not 1 versus 31. Clear? Asa nahi hai ki once the matches happen then the seeds are arranged. Nahi. Whoever wins the second match. Dekho abhi kya ho gaya na ki 31 is a better player. It's a, 31 is a better player than seed number 3. You know why? Because 31 seed number 2 ko haraya. So, if 31 defeats seed number 2, then seed number 3 se to better hoga. 
गॉट इट सो यहां पर वन वर्सेस थर्टी वन नहीं होना चाहिए था सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एनंदनी प्लीज डू गेट इन टच आई टॉक टू यू